Right, morning people, we are here in deepest, darkest Hertfordshire. Young Eddie and I are here to do our first event since lockdown in here. Are you looking forward to it? Am I looking forward to it? Yeah, quite apprehensive to be honest. Be interested to see what it's like. This is going to be weird. We're going to check out today what it's like to run a COVID, pre or over COVID, after COVID event. So we've got to go and get our numbers and all that first. Then there's no bag drop or anything like that. So then we're going to get our numbers, then go back to the car. And then I'll tell you all about what's going to happen. So sit back and enjoy how a post lockdown event takes place. we start this is all the zones so you're gonna get a number like this now and then they're gonna stick you in a zone these are like holding pens so the plan is is that you get in here they sort of hold you in your race numbers and your waves and then you hang out in here you've got two loos which you've got to wash your hands and all that before you go in them but they sort of hold you in here and then when you're ready to go they then call you down to the start pen which is over there so I'm gonna go and get my race number on then I'm gonna get put in this holding pen but yeah that's how they're doing it look see they separate it hey you see that look they separate it all off so each one is like a holding pen and they're going to start you down there and it's like a it's like a formula one system with a grid fastest at the front slowest at the back so that's how they've done it uh, yeah so then we'll move into this starting pen here we'll see it later but then they're going to move you into it so it's like we're being corralled with like horses today like mustangs ready to go right come let's go and get our numbers on right i don't think it's because of the noise but eddie's going to explain so and where's the sun is because it's bad yeah. right so you're going to get called from here just over 45 minutes to yeah, the start to here. of uh, wave into one here. 50 minute runners cone so you get given a cone depending on your start time look they marked it all out you will see that your race number and then you get pulled into another cone another area so that's how they're doing it so you you corralled up like we said a second ago like mustangs then brought in here according to your uh um, what is it, finish time, if I can speak English, in there, pushing forward to try and, get there and then this, uh, in there, we'll see how it works when everybody's here and we're, we're in the wearing. midst of it all, but that is how they're going to get round it today. This is all the queuing like I showed you earlier, to get your numbers again, all metre distance, and that's the start and finish. So it's pretty cool, it's pretty well organised. Right, numbers are on, not straight, hashtag not straight, as always, Toad's finally made it. And this is hashtag not straight either. It's the only one who's managed it straight. So we're all hanging out in the car park because this is where it's all at now. Because you're not allowed to hang out in there. So everybody sort of does everything out here now. Which is a bit weird, but it's in the way of the new world people. So, all dressed and ready. Let's get into the pens. Right, the other thing, you know, it's 418 now. All the numbers on everybody all relate to their, start, uh, their predicted start time. So we all have to fill out this form with all our details in, and it was actually, I think, I was like last week, I think. So you put all your details in, it was like a track and trace, effectively. But we all had to fill that in. But also within that, you had to put your estimated time, and that is then worked out to your number. So I said earlier about the, the like Formula One grid, that's how it's gonna work. So like 417 will be in front of me, 419 will be behind. Well, it's a bit windy. But that's how it's all working. So that's the other thing they did, as I said, is, is they did this like form thing. So if you've got like, any symptoms anything like that you had any of that sort of stuff you let the guys know beforehand and it's all about that tracking and tracing that's another thing that they put in place the other thing i just thought about is there's no bag drop i don't remember mentioned it because we was in the car park but there's no bag drop as well at these events so there's none of that sort of stuff um either at the start oh no water either yeah good point there's no hydration because england athletics deem that on a 10k you don't need water and if you do need water you need to carry it by yourself uh, so that's something from England Athletics. So there's no water stations out on the course either. They talk about overtaking as well. It's another thing. Uh, they want everybody to stay left when you're out there. If you're going to overtake, you need to go overtake as fast as you can, which is really hard when you're blowing out your ass. And, <laughs> and it's towards the end of the race. But anyway, we'll give it a try. We'll try and stick to the left and make sure we overtake fast around the outside. So that's some of the other things to consider. 
Right, well, these are the fast and dudes. Dress again. Event chip time and now they're just moving them into this space the where they start. So, now, now like I said earlier, they're all different things. Where they're going to move into the different cones before they move them into the main pen. But we've got like, as he just said, 12 minutes to go. But we'll see and watch these guys because they're the first. We can't see how they do it. Right, so hopefully you saw that. A couple of lines, fastest guys, we'll use them as an example. One to 10, I think it was. Then they move them into those sort of grid positions, like I said, at right at the start, about the Formula One start. And they're all lined up, two meters apart, and they're ready to go. It's really clever how they've done it. Now they're moving this wave, I don't know if you can see that on the camera. They're moving now that wave into this second pen. So they're bringing everybody down, and they'll do it all the way down. It's really clever how they've done it. The only thing I would say, is I'm not sure how they would do it for more than 600 people, which is what they've got today. If you think about it, that you can see why the London Marathon can go ahead. 40,000 people, how would you do this in, in a large space? I know there's a lot of room over in Greenwich, but still. I mean, it's very clever what they've done, but this is on a small scale. So you can see people why events have not taken place this year uh, on a large scale. But this is awesome what they've done here. Really, really awesome. Right, I'm gonna wait until the start, then I'm gonna get back in my pen, and then we'll go from there. 10 to 420 here. 420 to 430. 30 to 440. 440 to 450. Five columns of 10 runners, please, in number order. Again, if you are here for the 10.15 race start, we want to keep you from gathering around. There's an awful lot of people gathering here. This should be this is not a normal thing here. That boat is why it is on. So there's me being polite and pleasant to you. Please don't stand around. I'm here. Right, you ready? Let's get this show on the road. Next group, ready, set, go. And we're up, and all is take cut. That was weird. <laughs> Almost done. 44 32. That's not too bad. Well Cheers. Hey, you go get your own medal. Here we go. Self service people. There's nothing wrong with that. Right, so we're all done. I have to take my hat off. If it wasn't stuck to my head with sweat to act the training work day, that was amazingly well put on. Absolutely. Amazing, there's the boss man himself. James, good job today, brilliant. Superb job from him, absolutely smashed it. You saw at the end, as I said, you get to walk yourself, get the mail to yourself, and then when you're on your way. So I forget the, uh, the course the event and all that to one side, the actual whole way they've done it with the COVID and all that. What do you think, boys? Good way of doing it. Smashed it, didn't they? Well, yeah. Yeah, very organized, absolutely smashed it. Right, that's it from us. We'll catch you guys later.